welcome to the best dry camp in, in Oklahoma. It's amazing. So we are staying at the Black Cattle Recreation Area, but here at this national grassland, there's another two campgrounds from the government to stay on. If all of them are like that, we might check it out. The only issue with this place is that it is full of birds. It's like a spike, actually. Yeah. That it's on the grass. So when the dogs are walking, it actually goes into their paws. It's super long. We're gonna do that trail right there, which leads us to the other side. Tumbleweed. Tumbleweed, yeah. It's very spiky. I didn't know how spiky that was. Yeah. On season one, when we were going to Las Vegas, we ran over like several of them. Guys, what a surprise! So we just kept walking, and at the end of the road was like picnic area. We enter expecting nothing more than picnic tables, but there's more camping sites here. With all this grass, like right there, there's even water. You know, I was chatting with Carolina. I've never seen a place like this in Canada, like for free. So if you know any place like this in Canada, please comment below because we want to go check it out. Okay, let's see if it works. Like, I want water. I want water. Someone killed a turtle or turtoise. Yeah. Really like the, the animal there. There's parts of a turtle there. Yeah. Which is very the sad. Shell, People, yeah, I know. There's always Stick. someone that does things wrong. Super important moment. After four months without turning on the generator, we're gonna try it now. It was a long time. You know, we had some problems with the generator. This is the second one, the first one broke after we used it for one time. Twice, I think. Twice. Then the company, they gave, gave us, us a new, a new one. one, but it's not working as it should. Yeah, so today we're gonna try before we actually need it. I need to know if we can count on it to stay here longer, right? So, we test it out today. <sighs> Fingers crossed, we have battery. You cannot cut live trees, but you can cut dry wood. Yeah, everything that is dried on the floor already like cut. Yeah. So I found this pine tree right in front of the trailer. So I'm trying to get some wood for us. Cool. C Carolina likes to do very big bonfires. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Oh my, oh well. <laughs> we don't need. I'm like a cat. We don't need anyone hurt in the middle of nowhere, Diego. Remember what we said about the spiky things on the grass? I think I found it. <gasps> oh wow, see? That's exactly... Wow, Diego. This is what goes into their feet. That's why they're inside right now. Imagine if I was barefoot. Yeah, that's crazy. Hey folks, we have no water. The drinkable water is up, like almost done, right? We yeah. have like a little bit. So it's time to go to the closest grocery store and buy some. We want to stay at least till the end of the week. And we're still on a Wednesday. So hopefully we can stay a few more days buying this potable water. Okay, go right. 
Go right. Right that way. I'm kidding. Right. Ah, <laughs> Diego. <laughs> Someone speeding behind me. Okay. So much easier when we don't have yeah, the trailer. <laughs> we can speed up. He was super slow. So we forgot to say that we are in Cheyenne, Oklahoma. This is the nearest city from our boondocking spot. That is the thing about small towns, eh? People are so friendly. You having fun there? So yeah, they're so friendly. We buy water everywhere. It's always heavy. No one ever says, you can pass. You can go before me or here, take the cart. You can take it all the way to your car. I don't mind it, you know? It's just like so nice. They're such nice people. I think in small towns, people live with less stress. So they're nicer to other people. Jacob's gonna take the car back. Even though she said like, you don't have to, but you know, like she was so nice. We're gonna be nice back, right? <laughs> what a nice lady. Two nice ladies. Yeah, exactly. The cashier Both, and yeah. Uh, yeah, another lady there. She was, you're super heavy, you can go ahead. Yeah, exactly. You can go first. <laughs> and then she's like, you're not heavy. Yeah. You're the carrying yeah. heavy stuff. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it was so cute. Back home. Back home. We need to be fast because right now it's sunset, which means that the mosquitoes are out and they're thirsty. Come on in, s'il vous plaît. Let's see. It's one for Shadow, one for us. Can you go fast? We were just talking about the mosquitoes, Diego. I always close all the curtains when we leave just because. I'm Brazilian <laughs> and I'll never ever be caught unprepared. I'll always think before the thieves. <laughs> Just in case, you know, they look at the trailer, they're like, well, maybe there's someone inside. I don't know. And we just got a new neighbor from Alaska. Yeah. Amazing. They have a tiny baby and they yeah. travel in a cool airstream. Yeah. Hey, let's bring the dogs inside. And it's time for a bonfire. Boom fire. Boom fire time, Diego. Yeah, it's my favorite time. In Ever. Any camp. Yeah. <laughs> Diego likes to set stuff on fire. Wouldn't that be considered cheating? <laughs> Usually people use fire starters, so. I mean, you should not use it. You need two sticks. Oh, okay. So. <laughs> and hopefully that will set the mosquitoes away, eh? Yeah, the smoke. Ooh, there, there he is. So peaceful. And the moon, she's so pretty today. Look at her. Hi, beauty. Good morning troop. It was a very cold night and uh, we ran out of battery. We have two self-heated batteries and uh, I don't think it was a very good move because they use their own power to heat itself and uh, when we are in a cold environment we lose all the power. And of course the generator is not turning on now. Friday then, and it's so freaking hot. What's Friday then, and it's so freaking hot. <laughs> Today's the day to do something we were so keen to do, but 
honestly, we are afraid. We're kind of like, what if there's something on the ground, you know? It's those like water. Yeah, because yeah. we know there's a lot of fishes. People fish in this lake all the time. So we know that there is living things in there. <laughs> and the fishes are always jumping at night. It is beautiful, but we're like, oh, not super sure. Also, we didn't know that if we could go in or not, because we saw a lot of people fishing. So we're like, mm, not sure if the dogs can go in. Turns out it is okay to go in if there's no one fishing. So we're gonna do that today. And just because we said so, there is someone with a fishing boat here. I don't know if he's gonna put the boat in the water. He was not here 10 minutes ago. Yeah. Diego's thinking about jumping from there. But it's obvious that it's super shallow, Diego. Okay, the guy's coming to put the, bar, the boat in the water. Time to go. Bonnie up. Good job. Dora up. Muy bien. Good girl, Chiquita. I got you. <laughs> okay, this is our private beach, Diego. Yep. really deep, really fast. That's good, because then we can jump. I mean, it is good, but you don't see what's on the ground. <laughs> okay. She's running from what? A huge turtle. Really? Why Diego wants to jump. I already told him that there's turtles on it, that the turtle came and say hi to me. <laughs> she was like, this is mine. My place. My place, human. My beach. Go back to the land. <laughs> if you're watching this video, pause and let me know if you think Diego is gonna succeed or not, because he is terrible with cold water. So I'm not super sure he's actually gonna go for it. Pause the video and let me know what you think. Come on, Diego. We are waiting. It is super cold and I cannot see what is inside. Come on, it was your idea. <laughs> Don't disappoint everyone on YouTube. I'm not going. I believe I can die. Just go for it. If something goes wrong, it's gonna be funny. Okay. <laughs> One, two, three, go. <laughs> Just go. One, <laughs> two, three, go. One, two, three, go! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> super cold! <laughs> oh, super cold! Ah, it's good actually. Were you scared or yeah. what? Yeah, because like you, you done the cold plunge before and it was awesome. Saying I'm always it's afraid cold. of like swimming no. somewhere I cannot see. What is below but me? You were kind of like panicking. Yeah. I know. <laughs> <laughs> and that's it. Now it's time to go back. Why are you so afraid of turtles? What? You ran away from the water. Well, she came super close and said hi. So I was like, okay, let me go back to where I feel comfortable. And but I don't think they're gonna come and attack us. Wow. The mosquitoes, though, they're yeah. coming. They're feasting on me already. I promise you, the next time. I'll be braver. <laughs> he says that for 13 years with water, Diego is always cold like that. Water. Cold water, but yeah. that was not because of cold water. Yeah. <laughs> that was because. <laughs> That's not <cute. laughs> See you guys in a bit or tomorrow. And today completes a week that we stayed here. I think it was the longest boondocking that we managed to do because we had the possibility to go uh, by water, I think. A sunny Saturday beside this water would be a little sad to leave, but today is a cloudy day, so it's almost like it's helping us to move on. <laughs>